But I think probably the root of it has probably been covered in previous presentations in that establishing a relationship with the right business partner, distributor or manufacturer is, is the underpinning of pretty much everything we're going to talk about today, I believe. And it's certainly the case in, the, in this question as well. Um, I think it's important that companies see distributors not just as box movers, be the works for them, rather as a business partner you work with for the benefit of both companies and the expansion of both businesses. So with that said, there are a number of probably three or four key criteria that I'd look for in, in growing the business. The first one is understanding the contract environment of the country you're operating in. A, a good example of that would be Saudi Arabia, where we're working at the moment, um, and they have a new contract uh, position, a new contract status with the national uh, government distributor, NUPCO, N-U-P-C-O. Uh, understanding where your product is on the time scale of that NUPCO contract, which is usually a three-year contract, will clearly have an impact on how you sell, how much you can sell of your product. And certainly will define what kind of work you need to do to get it on contract, not there previously. Um, then you have the kind of more normal criteria to look at. So price positioning, uh, are, you, are you seen as a higher end product, more USBs or are you more of a commodity there? Either one is fine, but you need to bear that in mind as well, considering the space of the market, uh, private or public, and which areas you want to position it in. Then look at the competitor profile. Some of the competitors in these countries may have a direct operation and have a larger sales force than you may have with a distributor. And clearly that's going to impact how much you market share you believe you can say uh, and how long you can do that. Uh, then you need to look at from a, a distributor point of view, how many sales force, what resources, human resources are they going to put into the market for your product? And clearly, the more you can put into that, or resources you can put into the market, the better chance of getting quicker share you're going to get. And then finally, it's what resources you as a company, if you're a manufacturer, want to invest into that market. It, it, it's in stable values. The more you can invest, the more return you'll get. But likewise, you need to balance your investment with what return you think you're going to get. So it is a careful to and fro with the, all the correct area. I think underpinning all this, it's all about mutual trust. You, your business partner, and ensuring that together you're going to be moving forward, not one versus another, or, uh, or independently trying to do something without the other one. 